Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist is watching everything that you do. You know the narcissist is watching you because you've seen them stalking you on social media. Or maybe you caught them driving past your house or where you work. And it doesn't add up with the stories that they've been telling you or with what they've been flaunting on their social media because they portrayed it as though they've moved on now and they're with someone else as though they're finally happy and they're doing better without you. And you may have assumed that what they're portraying is true because it looks like they're happy. It seems like they're moving on with their life. But then you discover that they're watching you even though you may not have been in contact for a very long time. And there is a reason for that. Because people who watch, stalk and obsess are mentally ill. They have a personality disorder, which means that they will be experiencing relational issues. And I will quote themeadows.com, the negative effects of relational issues which includes difficulty connecting with others, flashes of anger, a short fuse, a pattern of surface level relationships, maladaptive coping behaviors, instability in mood behavior and functioning negative self-talk, judgmental language, frequent manipulation of others, a pattern of impulsive actions and unstable relationships, intense episodes of depression and anxiety, which are all traits that narcissists are known to have. But they will also be watching everything you do because they don't detach from you, which is how you may have noticed that they keep coming back and they might continue reaching out and con communicating with you even after everything that they have done to you. But you won't get closure from a narcissist because closure requires self-reflection, feelings and communication, which narcissists are not good at or interested in. And it may also be used as a form of punishment so they will never tell you why they treated you that way or why the relationship ended. But there will be a very confusing and dramatic ending. And then they will go silent for a while or they might just appear, disappear like a thief in the night. And sometimes you may not even know that they have gone. But after some time they will return and you may doubt yourself. But the reason why this happens is because they don't take accountability. They don't hold themselves responsible for anything that they do. Which is why they never give you an explanation for their behavior. And that's how they can then come back and re-idealize you again. Because they view you as their possession. As something that belongs to them. So they believe that they can do whatever they want. It gives them this sense of entitlement to you because they're objectifying you. They think that they own you, which is why they don't connect to you or fully attach to you. But it's also why they don't detach from you. So they will still watch you because they want to keep an eye on you and they don't want to lose you. They will especially fear that someone else may take you away from them. 
someone who is even more powerful or even more manipulative. That is actually one of their greatest fears. And it's often the reason why they keep such a close eye on you and why they don't give you an explanation for what happened. Because they don't want you to find someone else and they don't want you to move on. But being in a relationship with a narcissist will always present a lot of problems and difficulties. Because the way that they behave is very strange. And it's because they can't attach to you properly. Which means that they can never be real or authentic. All they can do is mirror you, lie to you and gaslight you. Which is never going to make any sense because they're not even connected to themselves. So they're never going to be able to connect to you. They have no identity of their own, And that is why they take yours. And when they're watching you, they are constantly comparing themselves to you. They're observing how well you're doing in your life and what you have going on. And then they're comparing it to their own lives to see if they're doing better. So they always have to know how you are doing. And it's not because they care about you or because they want to rekindle the relationship. They're watching you because they want to steal your energy. Which is why you will always feel like you're walking on eggshells. Because they need you to feel a certain way so that they can continue to ex extract that from you. Even if they're no longer communicating with you, they're still watching you again and again to where you may feel like you're under surveillance and you may not want to go anywhere or do anything, but you shouldn't let it get to you. And instead you should understand that they are very childish and immature because they're constantly watching you and trying to get you to feel a certain way. They want you to feel intimidated because they're trying to interrupt your settled and peaceful condition and disrupt your healthy functioning. They're trying to distract, interfere, bother, trouble and inconvenience you to distress, concern, worry and upset you because they want you to act out of character they want you to react emotionally. But the more that you react, the more that it will drain you because they're siphoning your energy. They're using your energy reserves for a purpose that which, for which they were not intended. And this is why they still want to be involved in your life because they want to take your energy. So unknowingly to you, you are still very important to them. Which is why they're invested all of their time and they're still watching you. Because they want to know certain things about you. And they are not looking for anything positive. They're primarily concerned with negative things about you. They're nitpicking and fault finding because they're very envious and jealous. So they want to take your energy from you. Which is why you do need to protect yourself. Set strong boundaries and establish a new support network or maintain an existing one because the abuse could escalate and they may become threatening and intimidating because they're not being punished or disapproved of for their possessive and controlling behaviour which means that they will keep doing it and they're never going to find satisfaction or completeness in doing that because regardless of how they see it in their minds of you being their possession as an extension of them, the reality is that you are a separate person with your own feelings, wants and needs. But it's a reality that they don't want to accept, which is why they keep trying to affect you to prove to themselves that there is no difference or separation between you and them so that they can feel whole and complete. Because they can't feel that way on their own if you're not in agreement with what they're doing 
or in a position where they still have the ability to affect you. But their inability to find peace and harmony within themselves is your, not, not your fault. So you must develop and strengthen healthy coping strategies to build resilience within you. Because all they're going to do is try to get you to react. It's gratifying them at your expense. They derive pleasure from inflicting harm on you and from doing things that you do not want them to do. Because then it makes them feel like they have power over you. But they don't have any power when you're being autonomous and when you're being your authentic self. Which is why they will seek to challenge that and rebel against it. And they may even become vengeful to where they're seeking to harm you in return for their perceived injury. Because by you being your authentic self, you are unknowingly harming and exposing their false self. Because they keep coming back to you and they're observing you. And it just becomes this big competition where you're not even competing with them, but this is how they see it. Because they're constantly monitoring you. And because they're narcissistic, they believe that everything revolves around them and that everything you're doing is intended to affect them. They think you're trying to do better than them. So now they have to be doing better than you. And they have to show everyone that they're this amazing person, but that's not even who they are. They just have an inferiority complex and a sense of one-upmanship where they feel compelled to gain a feeling of superiority over you because they actually feel inferior to you, which is why everything is a competition with them and they feel this need to bring you down because they want to see it as though there's no difference or separation between you and them. Or if there is, it's because they're superior to you. But even then, it's because they're a better version of you than you. So they're competing with you because they're identifying real or imagined similarities between you and them. And they're trying to distort or dissolve any perceived differences or dissimilarities because they're envious and jealous of you. They recognize that you are greater than them in more ways than one. So they want to keep a close eye on you in case they see you doing better. And then they can manage, control or restrict your movement and progression, which then helps to regulate them because they're viewing you as an extension of themselves. So they're constantly comparing themselves to you and it just becomes this endless competition between you and them. A competition that you may not even be aware of or one that you're not even participating in. Which is why you do need to set strong boundaries but also be aware that they may try to break your boundaries down because they have to see you as an extension of themselves. It's the only way that their disorder can function. While for you, elevation requires separation. Because by being an extension of them, it's only weighing you down. As their sense of superiority and grandiosity is the only thing in their minds. Which is why you just need to say no while being aware that it may cause a narcissistic injury and it may cause them to reverse the situation and project their negative traits onto you because they don't want to be seen as a stalker or as someone who is obsessed. Which is why even when they're stalking you, they may switch it around and act like you're the one who is obsessed with them. They could be lurking outside your house or hiding in the bushes and if you caught them spying on you, they would switch it around and accuse you of spying on them. And they may even make a big scene out about it and call the police. Even though you're in your own home and all you're doing is looking outside the window. Because they're really that crazy and delusional. They're so disconnected from themselves and their emotions 
But even when they're stalking and harassing you, they can't even see that they are the problem because they're outwardly focused and they're only looking at your reactions to the abuse for any signs of agreeance or conformity to their projections of their own negative traits so that they can then relieve themselves of their shame which they're desperately trying to avoid reflecting on so that they can continue to do what they do and it's why they're so fixated on you it's why they're watching your every move because they want your energy they don't want to feel like a bad person they don't want to feel like it's them even though they may have already done all of these things to you they will switch it up and see that as a source of power and superiority whenever they need to because they have no stable sense of self they don't even know who they are which is why there's never going to be a positive outcome with a narcissist because all they want to do is take and destroy they're not meant for you and they don't care about you they just want what you have and what you have is this innocent wonderful childlike energy which they're trying to corrupt and contaminate so that everything becomes distorted and confusing and there's no distinction or separation between you and them unless it's because they're superior or greater than you in some way and this is why they targeted you in the first place because they see your value and your energy and they want it for themselves which is why they will try to isolate you because they want to keep you trapped so that you can't leave and even if you do leave and you're moving forwards and you're doing better in your life they will still take that from you because they're objectifying you and they see you as an extension of them so they have this sense of entitlement towards you and they're seeking to extract your value which is why you're very important to them because they want to be you and they want something from you Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.